In June 1993, Andrew Wyeth came up to me after I'd done a big show in Japan and in Kansas City for him. And he said, I've always wanted to do your portrait. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And he said, I want you to do it down in Chad's Ford. Betsy's up in Maine. I want to do it alone. My father's studio. And it's going to take two sessions, two weekends. So set your time right. aside. But this, the man from Maine. Looking out the window? Yeah, she really said, oh God, this is just amazing. Here. Just a stamp. It's a very graphic yeah. painting. Yeah, it's a marvelous thing, and uh, the title is just terrific. We went to his father's studio, and he sat on a tiny stool on the floor and put me in a white kitchen chair, stark white kitchen chair. And he wanted to do the portrait utterly in profile, because he said, I want to make you Medici, that's Renaissance, that's profile, that's Roman cameos, like a Pisanello. Maybe take Ann Donacore out to lunch and uh, maybe have Walter uh, invite us both for lunch where I can make the present, you know, woo her for the Groundhog Day. Yes. And he said, I want you to talk every minute of the time that takes me to do this dry brush watercolor. I said, for what? He said, I want to hear your stories, number one, number two. I must have animation, because I can only do a portrait when somebody's moving, when their face is working. And you get to a point where if you're stuck in, your heels in it, and just don't want to send it, well, there's nothing in, no letter in God's green earth that's going to make yeah. it. But uh, you've got to really fight for Groundhog Day, you've got to really fight for, for Christina's world, obviously. He's scrabbling away. I said, I have a camcorder here, a little, little machine, videotape. Do you mind if I take a picture of you? I'll set it up over in that garbage can over there. Maybe I can get a view of the three of us, the painting, me and you. He said, I've never allowed anybody to do any recording of anything of me doing work. I said, ah, oh, come on. He said, all right, stick it up. So I put it on the garbage can. I took a look through the lens. It was perfect. So this is the first time in history anybody has made any visual recording of Andrew Wyeth painting a picture. You know, so he sold hundreds of these goddamn things and uh, promising in these ads everyone different. And that's the true story of the Monet famous Impressionist painting. God, that is fantastic. I mean, Jose Ferrer's movie about Toulouse La Trek sure as hell gave that painter a boost. Yes, I A tremendous boost. He romanticized him and lied about him. I mean, it was just bullshit. Uh, he wasn't all of that clever, and he was kind of, he was really ugly. He wasn't, uh, he was really a strange guy. You decided which ones you're going to have? For Japan, yeah, 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 oh, sure, yeah. I'll How show. about thin ice? Oh, yeah. Good, oh. that's never been seen yet. Oh, that's a fabulous, in this country. Yeah, it's a fabulous picture. It's never been shown. It was, it was sold, the Rikoso went right away to the Japanese. I think we won't do any more today. Tomorrow morning we'll have a short session. Now can we turn to the camera and say that? Yeah, <clears throat> I forgot all. I'm yeah, fine. me too. And you can hold it up? I should. Don't let me sweat on this thing, for God's sake. <laughs> Which is... Which, Which is a is, real Tom Hogan? And who will stand speak? Up. And who will speak? <laughs> now, I'm not going to kiss you yet because I want to kiss you when you finish it. All right? You get that? Come on, be sure you wiggle. <laughs> and he gave it to me, and he said, uh, "It's yours. I'll give you the copyright. You can crop it. You can use it in the back of your next book. Whatever you want to do with it, sell it. I don't care what you do with it. Here it is, and it's hanging in my bedroom in my country house." Thank you.